What's up my comic comrades? Today we break down just how powerful Vision is in honor of the epic WandaVision series on Disney+. Plus. So if you ever wonder just how powerful Marvel's most famous android is, well, you're in luck. And as always with these How Powerful episodes, the point of them is to help you understand why a particular character is so strong, not list every single one of their great feats. Just enough of them that we think will drive that point home. So let's get into this, shall we? Vision has a wide range of abilities, but let's start with his most obvious, his strength. First, I think we could all agree that the mutant hunting robots known as Sentinels are among the biggest and baddest robots Marvel has to offer. Well, Vision has been shown to be able to fly through them as if they were made of butter, which to be fair, other characters have done as well, but that by no means makes it an easy feat. Speaking of no easy feat, Vision was also shown to pull War Machine free from the Phoenix Force's grip. If you know anything about the Phoenix Force, that is no easy task, as it's the cosmic immortal being that represents the life and death rebirth cycle, all current and future life, and is the nexus of all physical energy ever to have existed to exist or will exist. And not only was Vision able to free his friend War Machine from it, he was able to face stomp a Phoenix imbued Namor. But if that's not impressive enough, when Vision was fighting the Silver Surfer, he almost won. Why is this a big deal? Because the Silver Surfer is imbued with the power cosmic, which gives its user limitless energy that could allow the user to do many things, such as resurrect the dead, manipulate the user's size and mass, teleportation, telepathy, creation of force fields, time travel, superhuman strength, immortality, and much, much more. And Vision still almost won. Surfer even says, I do not understand why he attacks me, but his strength is nearly comparable to my own. I must summon my board, use my thought control of it to save me. So Silver Surfer had to basically fight dirty to pull out a win, which is all kinds of nuts. Now Vision has fought and even beaten Avengers arch enemy Ultron several times over the years, but one of my favorite times is when he lays into him in Uncanny Avengers issue 11. Vision straight up uppercuts his maker with a punch that would make Liu Kang proud, and then proceeds to punch Ultron into the Earth, saying, once again, Ultron, you underestimate the Avengers. It's pretty epic. Vision has also sent Wonder Man flying with a single punch, and has even matched him in strength. If you don't know, Wonder Man is incredibly strong. His strength level is in excess of the 100 ton range. He's almost as strong as Thor, and has held his own against Thor and the Hulk, which is why it's so impressive that Vision was able to match his strength and send him flying with a single punch. On another occasion, Vision dropped from a mile high at maximum density in order to knock out Count Nefaria, which also triggered earthquakes hundreds of miles away. He's also soloed Beast, Captain Marvel, Medusa, Falcon Cap, and Nova all at the same time. Dude straight up caught Nova with his hand and then chucked him at Cap. But for all of Vision's strength, I would say he's even more durable. He even took a hit from Count Nefaria, who's stronger than Thor. But arguably even crazier than that is the time Vision blocked the charge from Hyperion. But that's not the end. Hyperion then got back up, now pissed saying, you humble me, Avenger, something no man or creature has ever done or will ever do a second time. I am Hyperion, sent to Earth to be its greatest champion, more powerful than a crashing surfer, able to fly, to see through walls, bend titanium with my bare hands. I am invincible, I am invulnerable. So Vision says, are you Hyperion? Even when you face the unearthly powers of Vision, as he punches and phases through Hyperion's chest. Now this is all kinds of crazy because Hyperion is quite literally Marvel Superman, and Vision just handled him like it was nothing. Now handling Marvel Superman so easily makes the time he brushed Iron Man's repulsor blast off like it was a water gun seem like nothing. But what still seems like a big deal is when he took a blast from the Phoenix Force itself and took it essentially with zero damage. But he did this not only once, but twice when him and some other fellow powerhouses took a blast from a Phoenix imbued Namor. Then on a completely different note, once upon a time there were several Hulks running around. Why? Because comics. Either way, he incapacitated and disrupted them by phasing through them, knocking most of them out. But this isn't the only time he made the Hulk look dumb. When fighting the Hulk one-on-one, -on -one, Hulk says to him, Hulk smash red face. Vision then says, you may try, but I doubt you will succeed. Hulk then proceeds to attack, but Vision just alters his density, saying your limited intelligence betrays you. Clearly you have forgotten how I can alter my density at will, as every attack goes right through Vision. But even when Vision lets attacks hit him, he more so than not just takes them on the chin, barely even budging. Like the time he took a full energy blast from a Kree sentry. This is impressive because Kree sentries are the ultimate weapons of the Kree army. Essentially, they're massive super-powered robots that sole purpose is to destroy. Then we have the time Vision stopped Goliath's punch with one of his hands. This is nuts because Hank Pym Goliath can lift up to 100 tons, meaning his punches definitely have some force behind them. And lastly, we have the fact that Vision draws his strength just like Superman from solar rays. In fact, in order to make Vision stronger, Black Panther fed him solar rays with a ray gun that shot said rays into the jewel on Vision's head, which is how he absorbs solar energy. We learn this when Hawkeye asks T'Challa what he's doing to Vision. He tells him, I'm feeding him Hawkeye, in a manner of speaking. Though Vision may look much like a man, his body is still that of an android. He's a synthetic 
static human who absorbs solar energy through that tear-shaped jewel in his forehead. Now, even though this isn't an incredible feat or display of power, I thought it was fitting to end on this because it shows that Vision is kind of sorta like Superman, but if he was an android. Meaning, I would really like to see Vision face off against Cyborg Superman. Now, some of you may have obviously figured this out by now, but in the comics, the gem in Vision's head is not an Infinity Stone, but rather a solar gem that allows him to collect sunlight, which provides him with energy. But also like the movies, said gem can shoot heat or energy beams, which he uses for a plethora of things. Like taking out Ultron's vision, sending Wonder Man flying, as well as knocking Falcon Cap and Jane Foster Thor out of the air. Essentially, Vision is an android and or living computer, meaning he continues to upgrade himself for higher functionality and better operation as the years go on. Meaning as technology advances, he becomes stronger and more powerful. So given the right advancements and finds in technology, he could theoretically become the most powerful Avenger. Again, theoretically. But there you have it, my comic comrades, just how powerful Vision is. I hope this episode gave you a better understanding of that. But what how powerful episodes would you guys like to see in the future? Let us know in the comment section. First up for the week of the 10th, we have Star Wars Darth Vader issue 10. Vader has learned the route to the hidden location of the Emperor's greatest secrets. But in the Red Nebula along the way, can Vader survive the onslaught of the greatest predator in the galaxy? Here we have Future State Dark Detective issue three. In this issue, Bruce Wayne meets the next Batman. As the Dark Detective makes his move to put an end to the villainous magistrate once and for all, the man who once wore the cowl encounters the next Batman, and these two have some questions for one another. Now we have Future State Teen Titans issue two. Red X returns to the Teen Titans, the mysterious former Teen Titans Academy student joins the surviving titans in a final fight to stop the threat unleashed by one of the school students. And finally, we have Sword Issue 3. With Sword's recent introduction into the MCU with WandaVision, this is the perfect time to check out their brand new self-titled series to see how they deal with extraterrestrial threats in the Marvel Universe. And just like that, that brings today's episode of Variant to a close, my comic comrades. But if you enjoyed today's How Powerful episode, be sure to check out this one right here. And if you like all of our videos, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. As I always say, it helps us out. But I will see you guys next time when we talk about all things comics.